So a couple elbows to soften them up a little bit. Hand reaches over, peel it down, rock it forward. He can't hold on to the weapon here anymore. If you actually look, it's out of his hand. It just happens to be balancing on his thumb. So I can grab that, choose to throw it away. If I have a friend there, don't throw it to their friend. Depending on where I am, I can come in and finish the job. But really, I can just hold on to this. All right, let's talk about we're on the ground, but now we are dealing with a knife or a weapon that comes in. We're still gonna start off with our basics, okay? He's in side control. I'm bridging into him to shoot my butt out or shrimp out to get my bottom knee in so I can start my escape. It's at this point here that if he's smart and he's really intent on doing some damage, that now he knows he's probably gonna be in some trouble before I get back to my feet. So as he starts pulling his hand back, I have trust issues right away. I'm looking to try and find that hand. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and set up a nice barrier between me and the knife. Okay, so as he pulled back, my knee came up, my hand's over here. If he tries to stab, try to stab, please. Yes, right, I'm here and now I'm grabbing. I want you guys to death grip this as much as you can, holding it as tight as you can. You can be pushing out through here, okay? Just like spider guard or modified lasso, I'm in nice and tight, I'm holding this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the pressure I have on the knee here and on this knee, and I'm gonna reach this hand underneath. I'm gonna pull my body in nice and close, and I'm gonna shift my weight in that direction. In order for that to happen, I have to make sure to be pushing this this way. That's gonna displace the center balance to come closer to my center, and now my body can take the weight onto this leg. That makes it very easy for me to follow, okay? When I get this, I'm getting into this position when I come over. Notice that nice look on his face right now. That's because I'm grinding my shin into his forearm, okay? It's ideal, yeah, you can see the marks right there, if I slice right through. But that's only just a pin, so it gives me a chance to control and switch my grip. Now, if you feel like you don't want to switch the grip at all, totally okay. But that leg will definitely give you a little bit more assurance. I don't want to stay here for too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot on my knee. So when my knee comes in, I'm going to pivot, replace. And if I got some good jits on me, I'm going to bring that knee over and control this side as well. If that doesn't work and I'm just like this, I can always pin that down and come to here. But I want my leg and my hand doing the job. My leg is controlling his body. My leg is controlling his arm. My hand is controlling his arm. This gives me a chance to finally do some damage. I can try and render him unconscious. Punching, not bad. Going to hurt your hand. Maybe not be able to go to work the next day. Throw some elbows. Start just crushing these as hard as you can. Okay, now they're gonna be resisting and they're gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff. If you feel like they're way stronger than you, two hand this, just hold on to it as tight as you can, okay? But what I'm gonna try and do is when I feel like it's safe to do so, I'm gonna reach over, I'm gonna grab the back of his knuckles, okay? I'm trying to get that, obviously trying not to get cut in the process. So a couple elbows to soften them up a little bit, hand reaches over, peel it down, rock it forward. He can't hold on to the weapon here anymore. If you actually look, it's out of his hand. It just happens to be balancing on his thumb. So I can grab that, choose to throw it away. If I have a friend there, don't throw it to their friend. Depending on where I am, I can come in and finish the job. But really, I can just hold on to this. Now notice the blade, the way he was holding it. When it peeled, it happened to come into my hand like this. I can't guarantee that every time. But what's nice about this is I'm now showing restraint. This sucks for him, look at his face, okay? But I'm using the back of the blade. If I did this, that's me killing somebody. If I'm here, I'm like, I don't wanna mess around, right? And you can choose to get out of here because they don't know if the blade is there or not. But again, I know there's a wall behind me, so I know I'm safe, okay? When I'm finding this position, I always like to keep the blade on them as long as I possibly can. That gives me a chance to be able to exit away, get away, 
and then get back to safety. Okay, so it's just an option from side control. A very similar option is from guard. Okay, because we're setting up the same thing, remember, keep it simple. Try and train the same things in a little bit of different ways. We're in guard, we're in a guard fight. He's controlling me, he's doing well. I bridge, I use my training, I come in from all of our ground fighting series. It's nice and tight. Then all of a sudden, he does something. He pulls his arm back, I'm like, wait a second, what's going on over there? He's starting to mess around in his pocket a little bit. I'm starting to feel something. It's not throwing a punch right away. Spotty senses should be going off. Same concept, hand comes up, he tries to stab, I find that block, I get that shield, then I come over. Now the nice thing about this, even though my knees are in different positions than they were in side control, if I bring this hand underneath, I can do a very similar sweep. But I'm just going to give you another option. So from here, because that knife is here, right, please try to stab me, right? Put that knife in my butt, right? Yeah, right? So that's probably what's going to happen. So you're going to want to extend away. And that's why I want to give you guys this option over here. Because as you're extending away, now my arm is straight, I can hold it there and hopefully get my foot up. If I can't get my foot up due to flexibility issues, go for the other sweep. But if I'm here and I can get my foot to here, I'm going to keep this grip as long as I can. Now I'm going to come over top, shift my weight, come over. I can try and finish the triangle here, but notice he still has space to breathe. He has a knife. That becomes my priority, not choking somebody unconscious, especially if there's a secondary person. So I'm going to kick away. That gets me to this position. Now, because I have his arm, leg over, leg over. Look where I am. I have control. I'm pinning an arm. I'm pinning an arm. I'm not on him though, so I have to be a little bit lower. This one's definitely hard to control. I don't mind holding on to this and getting a real nice grip. What I did there is I tucked my leg under his arm. That gives me a stronger position to be able to smash, right? See how he's worrying about his face now? He's not worried about the weapon. Same concept. Come over, stretch the arm out as much as you can. Peel, pull. Notice I did it different than last time. So now when I grab that weapon, I don't like this. I'm gonna throw it away to where I need to go, right? So I'm here, I'm controlling. I'm just gonna keep smashing a whole bunch. What I love about this is watch how I get out of here. Hand on face, knee pivot, and I'm gonna to go to like a north-south position. Hand on face, knee pivot, and I'm away. Hopefully that gets me back to my feet, gets me away from the weapon, and gives them a little bit of punishment. Now, my rules of engagement may be a little bit different than yours. Everybody should be a little bit different. When a knife comes out, a whole new thing comes into the equation. These are just options to get you back to your feet and back to safety. What you choose to do with the weapon and the knife is up to you.